Now it was at Jerusalem the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. And as Jesus walked in the temple, the people came round about him, asking him questions. How long dost thou make us to doubt? How long dost thou make us to wait on thy word? If thou be the Christ, wilt thou tell us that we might be tell us so plainly Jesus answered them I told you and ye believed not because ye are not of my sheep my sheep hear my voice and I know them and I lay down my life for the sheep my father which gave them me is greater than all no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Thou blasphemest! People, take up your stones! Hear how he blasphemeth! Take up your stones! Take up your stones! Jesus answered them, Many good works have I shown you from my Father. For which of those works do ye stone me? For a good work we stone thee not, but for that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Jesus answered them, if I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me, and I in him. They've seen his face. They've seen his wonder. They've seen his touch restore the sick, but still they're waiting, for they don't see him, don't truly see him, but I have
have seen and I believe that this is he They've heard his words They've heard his teachings They've heard a voice from heaven speak but still Once their mouths were filled, they cared not what he said. They bring their sick, they beg them healed, and still they pray that their Redeemer be revealed. He has declared, he is Messiah. and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Jesus loved Martha, and her sister, and Lazarus. And when he heard therefore that he was sick, he saith to his disciples, Let us go into Judea again. And when Jesus came to Bethany, he found that Lazarus had lain in the grave four days already. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. Lord, if thou hast 
hadst been here, if thou wouldst have heard us, my brother then would not have died. No, if thou hadst been here, thou couldst have saved him. I know that thou couldst have healed him. But even now, I know that if thou wilt ask of God, what thou wouldst God would give it be, what thou askest he'll give thee. Jesus saith unto her, Martha, thy brother shall rise again. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? which should come, the Son of God. But I do not understand. Touch my eyes and bid them see that my gaze might pierce the veil and behold the wondrous sea that in dreams I've long beheld. Oh, touch my heart and bid it know that every sorrow here is but a moment's tear. And the Make me whole again. Touch my ears and bid them hear all the glory. 
And Martha went her way and called Mary her sister. Mary, Mary, the master is come, and he calleth for thee. As soon as she heard that, she rose quickly and came unto him. The people then which were with her in the house followed her, saying, She goeth unto the grave to weep there. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet. Lord, if thou hadst been here, if thou hadst been with us, my brother then would not have died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the people also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And Jesus wept. Jesus therefore cometh to the grave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. No, Lord, please, already he's been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth.
Now, when the feast of Passover was nigh at hand, multitudes of the people went out of the country up to Jerusalem. And both the chief priests and the Pharisees had given a commandment that if any man knew where Jesus were, he should tell it that they might take him. And one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, came unto them. What will you give for a king? What will you pay for the king of the Jews? What will you offer to have him at last in your hands? What is he worth you? The people begin to believe. Take him in public and all will rebel. But what if there's one he calls friend who'd be willing to say? How long have you waited for this? And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver, which was the price fixed by law as that of a slave. On the Sunday before Passover, as Jesus came nigh unto Jerusalem for the feast, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village, in the which ye shall find a colt tied. Loose him, and bring him hither. And they brought the colt to Jesus, and they cast their garments on him, and they set Jesus thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and strawed them in the way. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. Some of the Pharisees said unto Jesus, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out.
Thursday, the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to a certain man, and say unto him, The Master saith, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Now when even was come, Jesus sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they began to be sorrowful, and to say unto him one by one, is it I? Lord, is it I? Would ever I betray thee? Having known thy love, could I so cruelly turn away? Could my heart so fail thee and my feeling turn so cold? If I should leave thee, where would I go? Lord, is it I? Am I then to betray thee? Having seen thy wonders, could my foolish heart be swayed? Is my faith so little that my soul would cease to burn? If I should wander, where would I turn? I am prone to leave thee If I am wont to doubt Oh, wilt, wilt thou, thou still receive, receive me Bind me fast oh, find me out That I may never wander That I may ever see Oh, that, that my hope seek not but thee That I might follow Would I Whatever I betray thee Having followed with thee Seek some other way Though my heart is willing Could my flesh become so weak If I should leave thee Who would I see? Take thou my weakness from me Help thou my unbelief Let nothing overcome me Be thou with my sure relief Thou art my own So safely folded in thy care. Let mountains fall and valleys rise. Yet one thing shall I know: I will not leave thee. If I should. Master, is it I? Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, That thou doest, do quickly. Judas then went immediately out, and it was night. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, and brake it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, 
which is shed for many for the remission of sins. saith Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Though all men be offended, yet shall I never be. Jesus saith unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. I'll go with thee to prison, if thou askest it of me. For I should die with thee, yet will not I deny. Jesus saith unto them, Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane. And Jesus saith to his disciples, Sit ye here while I pray. And he taketh with him Peter and James and John, and began to be sore amazed, and to be very heavy, and saith unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward a little, and fell on the ground, and prayed. Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou wilt. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground.
he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and saith unto Peter, What? Could ye not watch with me one hour? And again he went away and prayed. And when he returned, twice he found them asleep again. And the third time he saith unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. It is enough, the hour is come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas came, and with him a great multitude. Whomsoever I kiss, the same as he, take him and lead him away. Lead him away safely. And he goeth straightway to Jesus, and kissed him. Hail, Master. Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? And Peter drew his sword, and struck a servant of the high priests. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up thy sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he shall give me more than twelve legions of angels? The cup which my Father hath given me, shall I not drink it? Then laid they hands on Jesus, and took him. Abandon him to face this all alone, but he will fight. Is he willing to allow this foul deceit? Still I must follow, I will not run. Why is this night different? Are we this night set free? Are we now slaves no longer? Mary, come, they have taken our Lord away, and I follow behind. Taken thy son. And they led Jesus away to Caiaphas the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. Now all of the council sought false witnesses against Jesus to put him to death. And so they came. This fellow here, this blasphemer, I heard him say, yes, I heard it myself, that he claims he is able to tear down the temple of God and build it again in three days. Three days. Yes, I heard it myself. And thou sayest nothing. But Jesus held his peace. Because it's the truth. Now Peter had followed Jesus afar off and sat without in the palace. And a damsel came unto him. I know thy face. Thou wast with Jesus of Galilee. I know. I know not, I know not what thou sayest. And the high priest said unto Jesus, Answerest thou nothing? I adjure thee by the living God that thou tellest whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus saith unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. He hath spoken blasphemy! Behold, now ye have heard for yourselves his blasphemy! Then did they spit in his face, and buffeted him, and others smote him with the palms of their hands, saying, Prophesy unto us, thou Christ, who is he that smote thee? And Caiaphas asked of the council, What think ye? They answered and said, 
he is guilty of death. And Peter made his way out into the porch. There another maid recognized him. This fellow here, this fellow here was with Jesus of Nazareth. I've seen him there also. I swear to you, no. I do not know the man. But surely thou also art surely one of them. Surely thou Jesus. I've seen you there also. Yes, thou was with Jesus of Galilee. Thou Jesus of Nazareth. Thou was with Jesus of Nazareth. Thou was with Jesus of Nazareth. I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the words of Jesus. And he went out and wept bitterly. What have I done? Denied him. What have I done? So now am I no different from the man who take thy bread and turn again. What have I done? What have I done? I hear their filthy tongues, their vicious scorn, the lies they spin with Satan's yarn. I watch them spit and strike thy face. They mock thy name in foul disgrace. And when thou lookest for a friend, thou findest none, for I have fled, O oh God. them take my Lord I can't endure the cruel hands upon him while his own hands are tied with cord those hands with power to raise the dead command the storm now bound instead and I cannot hear them mock his name. I cannot bear the foul breath upon him. I dare not look upon his face and see the very Son of God, his brow so bruised and stained with blood, his eyes that shed my sorrow's tears and watch as all hope disappears. I will not watch them crucify my Lord. For I know this man, I know him, I know this man. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away 
and delivered him to be tried of Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. Ye have brought this man unto me as one that perverted the people. And behold, I have examined him before you, and I have found no fault in him, no nothing for which death is worthy. I will therefore chastise him and release him. Take him to be scourged. Now this is enough! Not enough! Behold the man, the punishment he's born, the cruel whip, the mocking scorn. Away with him! His crimes have seen enough! Away with him! Why, what evil hath if he thou done? let this man go, thou art no thou friend art but Caesar's foe. They go. see his pain, they see him suffer, and still they cry out for his blood with no compassion. For the feast I must release one Let prisoner. It all. Whom shall I release then? Oh Lord, how long till what thou shall I do then with this Lord, Jesus? Is this enough? Is this not enough? O oh Lord my God, show mercy on my son. Has not thy will in this then time? Speak now, hast thou not had enough? Has not the bitter cup been empty? Art thou a king? Then tell me. Is this not enough? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee? And by that same power can release thee? And speakest thou not unto me? What shall I do then with this Jesus? This Jesus ye call it Jesus to be crucified. And Jesus, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called Calvary, where they crucified him between two thieves. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And when Jesus saw his mother by the cross, and John standing by, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then to his disciple, Behold thy mother. O oh Lord, when is it enough? My breaking heart, though pierced and torn within, I'll keep my vigil here with him. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me until it is enough. And they that passed by him reviled him, saying, He saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. Then at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In that bitterest hour, the Father had withdrawn the support of his immediate presence leaving to the Savior of men 
the glory of complete victory over the forces of sin and death. Then Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, exclaimed in a loud voice, It is finished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Then he bowed his head and voluntarily gave up his life. He who healed our sorrows Here was bruised and broken He whose love no end knows Here was forsaken Left all alone. Here despair cries boldly, claiming this its victory. Sweeter peace and
As it began to dawn towards Sunday morning, and while it was yet dark, came Mary Magdalene early into the sepulcher where they had lain Jesus. And when she was come unto the garden, she seeth the stone taken away from the sepulcher, and knew not what it meant. What have they done? Removed him? What have they done? Then she runneth, and cometh to Peter, and to John. Come and see. They have taken our Lord away, where he is I know not, but the sepulchre's empty. And when they came to the sepulchre, they went in, and seeth the linen clothes lie, and the napkin that was about his head, wrapped together in a place by itself. Then the disciples went away again unto their own home. But Mary stood without at the sepulcher, weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulcher, and seeth two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Because they have taken my Lord away. Where he is, I know not. I know not where they have laid him. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus, but supposed him to be the gardener. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? Tell me, sir, if it be thou who hast born him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I'll take Jesus saith unto her, Mary. Master. He saith unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father, and your Father, and to my God, and your God. Thee his captive.
The same day at evening, many of the disciples were gathered. As they communed together, though the doors were shut, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them, and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were afraid, and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Thomas was not with the other disciples when Jesus came. Then they therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. You've seen the Lord. You've seen him risen. You've seen his hands and touched his side, and you are certain, but I've not seen him, and I must see him, until I've seen his wounded side, until my hands have felt his hands, I will not know, nor yet believe. A week later, on the following Sunday, the disciples were again assembled, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, 
and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Touch my lips and bid them sing Words my tongue would not conceive That my soul might join in praise And forevermore believe Oh, touch my heart and bid it know Thou hearest every plea And though I may not see Yet thou wilt make me whole. Not now, but in the coming year May not be when we demand We'll read the meaning of our tears And there some time we'll understand Why what we long for most of all Eludes our open pleading hands Ever silence meets our call Somewhere, sometime we'll understand So trust in God through all thy days Fear not, for he doth hold thy hand After these things, there were together fishing in the sea of Tiberias, Peter and Thomas and James and John and three other disciples, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. 
Then he saith unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it in because of the multitude of fishes. And with this John knew him, and saith unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Peter heard that it was the Lord, he did cast himself into the sea to swim ashore. When the disciples were come to land, Jesus saith unto them, Come and dine. And when they had dined, Jesus saith to Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. And then the third time he saith, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me? Thou knowest all things, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him that loved us. <laughs> 